How strong is a Siberian tiger compared to other tiger species? Have you ever wondered which tiger is the true heavyweight champion of the wild? Is the Siberian tiger really stronger than all the other tiger species? Imagine a face-off between a Siberian tiger and its cousins, the Bengal, Sumatran, Malayan, South China, and Indo-Chinese tigers, who would win in a roaring contest or even a tussle in the jungle. Let's find out together. Let's start with the star of our show, the Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger. This majestic cat is like the heavyweight boxer of the tiger world. In fact, the Siberian tiger holds the title of the world's largest wild cat. Big male Siberians often weigh around 480 to 660 pounds, 220 to 300 kilograms, and can stretch up to 10 feet, 3 meters from nose to tail. With such size comes incredible strength. A single paw swipe can break a deer's neck. This muscular cat is a fearsome hunter. It has thick fur to stay warm in the snow and a slightly paler orange coat with fewer stripes, which helps it hide in winter woods. Living in the icy forests of Russia and China, the Siberian tiger has been known to take down huge prey. It can even hunt bears on occasion, showing just how powerful it is. Despite being the biggest, Siberian tigers move with stealth and patience when hunting. They usually roam alone over vast territories in search of prey, relying on their strength and camouflage to ambush animals. Now, we know the Siberian is a powerhouse, but how does it compare with other tigers? Each of the other subspecies has its own strengths and quirks. Let's compare them one by one and see why the Siberian tiger usually comes out on top in size and might. Siberian Tiger versus Bengal Tiger The Bengal Tiger is the Siberian's closest rival in size. Bengal Tigers found in India and Bangladesh are the second largest tiger subspecies. An adult male Bengal can weigh up to 570 pounds, 260 kilograms, which is almost as much as a Siberian. On average, though, Siberian Tigers still have a slight edge in bulk. Both tigers are incredibly strong apex predators. Bengal tigers have even been recorded hunting young elephants in rare cases, while Siberian tigers sometimes take on bears. These feats alone tell you how powerful these big cats are. A big Siberian male can top 661 pounds, 300 kilograms, whereas a big Bengal is usually closer to 485 to 551 pounds, 220 to 250 kilograms. That difference in weight is like one tiger carrying an extra adult person in a face-off. That extra heft gives the Siberian an advantage. Both have fearsome claws and teeth, but the Siberian's paws and forelimbs are larger and more muscular, so its blows land a bit harder. Think of two strong wrestlers if one is significantly heavier, it can use its weight to overpower the other. Both Bengal and Siberian tigers are armed with 3-inch, 7.6-centimeter, canine teeth and long, retractable claws. One swipe from either can be deadly. Neither wears any armor beyond a tough hide and fur, but a Siberian's thick winter coat might cushion it slightly against bites and scratches. Essentially, they're built very similarly. The Siberian just scaled up the size a notch. Still, due to its extra bulk and strength, a Siberian would likely overpower a Bengal tiger in a face-off. Who would win? The Siberian tiger would likely win thanks to its greater size, though the Bengal tiger is still a formidable foe. Siberian tiger versus Sumatran tiger. Now we turn to the opposite end of the tiger spectrum. The Sumatran tiger is the smallest of all living tiger subspecies. These little tigers live on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, prowling through dense tropical rainforests. A male Sumatran tiger might weigh only around 220 to 265 pounds, 100 to 120 kilograms. That's less than half the weight of a big male Siberian. While a Siberian tiger might be around 10 feet, 3 meters long, a Sumatran tiger is usually about 7 to 8 feet, 
2.1 to 2.4 meters long. Standing side by side, the Siberian would tower over the Sumatran. The Siberian tiger absolutely outweighs and overpowers the Sumatran. It's truly a David and Goliath situation. The Siberian's one paw swipe could knock the smaller Sumatran completely off its feet. Sumatrans are adapted for stealth in a tangled jungle. They're quick, sneaky, and agile, hunting smaller prey like deer and wild pigs in the undergrowth. In the thick forest, a Sumatran tiger might use its agility to slip away or hide from larger threats. But in a direct confrontation on open ground, it would be no contest. The Siberian tiger is just far too big and powerful. Both share the same toolkit claws, teeth, muscle, but scale matters. The Siberian's bite and claw swipes hit with significantly more force simply because that tiger is enormous. The Sumatran's best defense would be to avoid a fight with an animal twice its size. Who would win? The Siberian tiger would win hands down in this matchup. The Sumatran, as fierce as it is for its size, just isn't built to take on a cousin more than double its weight. Our striped little ninja would have to concede to the Siberian giant in terms of raw power. Siberian Tiger versus Malayan Tiger. The Malayan Tiger is another smaller subspecies of tiger found in the forests of Malaysia. Males weigh only about 220 to 260 pounds, 100 to 120 kilograms, and measure around 8 feet, 2.4 meters, very small next to a Siberian. This actually puts the Malayan tiger in the same weight class as the Sumatran tiger. They're close cousins in the Southeast Asian region. By comparison, a male Siberian can be two to three times heavier. That's a huge difference. The Siberian tiger's large size evolved for tackling big prey in cold, open forests, whereas the Malayan tiger stays smaller to stalk prey in dense tropical jungles. In a matchup, the Siberian strength would far exceed the Malayans. The bigger cat could weigh almost 660 pounds, 300 kilograms, against 264 pounds, 120 kilograms, for the Malayan. With that bulk comes much greater power. The Malayan might be a bit quicker and more nimble. Smaller cats can dart around more easily, but any direct hit from the Siberian's paw or jaws would be devastating. The Malayan simply doesn't have the mass to wrestle with a Siberian. Its claws and bite can certainly injure no tiger as weak, but it would be like a lightweight fighting a heavyweight champion. Who would win? The Siberian tiger would overpower the Malayan tiger due to the massive size and strength gap. The Malayan might put up a brave fight, but it's hard to imagine it bringing down a cat that much larger. In this battle of big cat versus little cat, the Siberian takes the win. Siberian Tiger vs. South China Tiger The South China Tiger is a tiger subspecies that is sadly on the brink of extinction. None have been seen in the wild for decades. Only a few live in captivity. Historically, they lived in central and southern China. They are one of the smallest mainland tiger types, even smaller than the Indo-Chinese tiger. A male South China Tiger is around 330 pounds, 150 kilograms at most, making it a lightweight next to a Siberian. A male South China tiger is roughly half the weight of a male Siberian. In other words, the Siberian tiger is about double the size of its South China cousin. Siberian tigers regularly wrestle large prey like wild boar and even bears, while South China tigers hunted only smaller animals like deer or boar. They simply weren't built to take on something as big as a Siberian. In a fight, the South China tiger would stand very little chance against its giant northern cousin. Who would win? The Siberian tiger, without a doubt. Siberian tiger versus Indochinese tiger. The Indochinese tiger, Panthera tigris corbetti asterisk, lives in the forests of Southeast Asia. It's a mid-sized tiger, bigger than the Malayan and Sumatran tigers, but smaller than the Bengal and Siberian. 
A male Indochinese tiger weighs around 430 pounds, 195 kilograms, and reaches about 8.8 .8 to 9.8 .8 feet, 2.7 to 3 meters in length. So, although an Indochinese tiger is a formidable big cat, it's still significantly lighter than a Siberian male. Indochinese tigers have more stripes and a darker orange coat compared to Siberians, but they're generally smaller and slimmer than both Bengal and Siberian tigers. Even their skulls are smaller. The Siberian has one of the largest tiger skulls. In the wild, Indochinese tigers prey on medium to large animals like wild deer and pigs. They are strong and agile but they don't usually tackle the truly gigantic prey that Siberian tigers can handle. With a male Indochinese maxing out around 180 to 200 kilograms versus a Siberian often around 250 kilograms or more, the Siberian simply has more muscle to put into a fight. An Indochinese tiger might be a little quicker and more at home in dense forest, but in any clear confrontation, the Siberian's superior strength would rule. Who would win? Yet again, the Siberian tiger would likely come out on top. The size gap isn't as huge here as it is with a Sumatran or South China tiger, but it's still enough to give the Siberian a clear upper hand in power. In short, the Siberian tiger is the largest and strongest tiger. In one-on-one -on -one matchups, the Siberian's sheer brawn power gives it the advantage almost every time, but that doesn't mean the other tigers are weak far from it. Every tiger is strong in its own right. Bengals, for instance, dominate their jungles and could give a Siberian a serious challenge. The smaller tigers like the Sumatran and Malayan are still very powerful predators for their size. They have to be to rule their own territories. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Your support keeps us going. See you in the next video.